Solar eclipse happens when the portion of the Earth is in shadow due to Moon, which either fully or the partly blocks the sunlight. The earliest reference to an eclipse in the subcontinent can be found that the earliest of Indian written records in a Rigved. Shir Atri explained scientifically why eclipse occurs. Purans have described the story of Rahu and Ketu in a mystical way, but the essence remains as same as in the Rigved. The sage here described how Swarvanu created eclipse of a sun and moon, and how sun appeared after eclipse in the sky. Swa means sky, Pa means light, Anu means follower. Swarvanu means follower of light is shadow, which is present in the sky. Eclipse is seen due to this shadow. Asura stand for the shadow of moon, not for the demon. Rigved says Swarvanu was not from the heaven but from the earth, which explains that the moon is a natural satellite of the earth and that it does not have its own brightness but rather reflects the light of the sun. In the latter book, Panchavimsa Brahmin, the description of the eclipse is a more detailed. Here it is said that at the eclipse, the sun originally becomes black, then silvery and even actually red before returning to its original glory. In 1499 AD, the great Indian mathematician and the astronomer Aryabhatta explained that the eclipse occurs because either the moon comes between the sun and earth or the moon goes into the shadow of the earth. Using purely geometrical arguments and that relative size of the object, he gave an excellent formulation of the calculation of eclipse parameters. After that, Rahu and Ketu transformed into specific moving points of the periodicity of 18.6 years and the conjunctions of Rahu and Ketu with Sun and Moon are identified as the periods of the eclipse. The word eclipse comes from the eclipsis, the ancient Greek word from being abandoned. Aristotle observed that the Earth's shadow has a circular shape as its move across the Sun. Another Greek astronomer used a lunar eclipse to estimate the distance of Moon and Sun from Earth. The Moon's ability to cover the Sun's disk during a total solar eclipse also allowed the ancient Greek to describe the Sun's corona, the aura of light that surrounds the Sun. Scientists have used eclipse to make discoveries in a more recent time too. On May 1919, Sir Arthur Addington tested Albert Einstein's theory of a general relativity during a total solar eclipse. Einstein had theorized that the massive objects chaos distortions in space and time. Addington confirmed that the starlight band around the sun by measuring the portion of the certain star relative to eclipse.